Mm. Hello everybody, welcome back to another weekly vlog here on my channel. I'm starting this on a Wednesday because yesterday I like just finished one off. It was a bit of a mishmashy kind of vlog. And I don't know, normally I'd start it on like a Monday. Or actually, I'm, I don't really start vlogs on like a particular day. I usually just choose whatever day I feel like motivated to talk to somebody. It's currently the morning. I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 10.30 or something. Have I washed my face? No. Have I brushed my hair? No. Have I brushed my teeth? No. Yes, I'm very disgusting. But it's the school holidays. It's officially the second day of the school holidays. Because we had like Good Friday and then like Easter Monday, I'm not really counting those as like holiday days. I'm also wearing Lewis's jumper and just some track pants. And I plan on staying in clothes like this until later this afternoon because I have to go and see my sister and my mum. So if you guys are new here or you don't know, my sister is currently pregnant. I think she's around 37 weeks now. So she's just about to pop. Uh, he is due on my birthday, which is the 25th of April. And because she is doing this by herself through donor, like IVF, my mum and myself are going to be her like birthing partner, like support people. So we are doing birth classes online. Last week was pretty intense. There was so much information. It went for almost three hours. And then like there's another three weeks of classes left. I don't know what they're gonna include. I'm hoping like some techniques that my sister can use during labor, like breathing techniques, like positions that she can either stand, sit. One of my cats is going crazy. Or like, yeah, just like positions that are gonna be comfortable, comfortable for her. I'm just in the processing of finishing a vlog from last week. So I'm just doing the last little bits of editing. I really need to get some like decor for this background. This is Lewis's office. It's downstairs. So we live in a two bedroom townhouse and he has his own office. But like, because we're renting, we like, we tried to put up those command hook things on like our stairs, but they didn't quite hold up the frames that we had. They they fell down and like one of the frames broke so i don't know what we're gonna do i think lewis has got some like thinner frames and like some posters that he printed out but yeah i'm gonna have to get him to put them up because this background is really boring it's a little bit later in the day now i am now at my sister's house doing that birth class thingy i changed my outfit actually i only changed the top half i'm wearing this like winnie the pooh jumper that i bought when i was in japan from a second hand store let's go in and say hi to erin i think that she's like 37 weeks today and I'm going to show you her little baby room. Dinner. Mmm. It's a big hunk of lamb. Huh? It's a big hunk of lamb. Oh, that's all right. So we've got the baby room. Erin was just, I think, organizing it a little bit. Look at how cute. She's got a little dresser there. What's that? Crib. Crib. Um, change table. And then she's also got like this really cool like rocking chair. I don't want to sit on it because I'll probably put my cat fur over everything. But we bought her this little, I can't wait to put baby in it. See if it works. It reminds me of the scene of Sex in the City where Samantha like puts the vibrating thingy with the baby and it stops it crying. I think that's what this is supposed to do or be. It's so cute. <laughs> Thanks. Who's cooking? Oh, what the hell are you doing, Angie? <laughs> She's just, we're just practicing. She looks evil. We're practicing. <laughs> You're right. Except she has stiff legs. She's meant to look, isn't she pretty? She's not really. She's <laughs> actually. Creepy. Her name's yeah. Anna. Anna. From Sabres? <laughs> Annabelle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should try and dress the baby. I don't know how to dress a baby. No, that's what the idea is. We're going to, we're going to practice putting, yeah. the, putting the baby in the, in the, in the car, seat. car seat. Oh, you should also practice using the, um, the, the, thingy. the, the thing, baby like the holder thing. Oh, yeah. That's why I bought one. See, it's, it's there you soft, go. Karen. Oh, cute. Look how cute she is. Except it's going to be a boy. So that's what pretty, an angel. That, that's pretty useless, isn't it? She looks actually scary. Yeah, practice Nighty it, night. Oh, <laughs> except that baby's very, very quiet. It's contracting. There's so no can you see this one? Right? Yeah. Oh. And what we do with the continuous monitoring is we put it 
trees to make sure that baby's actually coping okay. Good morning everyone. Happy Friday. Yes, it is Friday. Lewis and I are just getting ready to go to the shops. Um, he got some like pants altered yesterday. Um, we need to go and pick them up. I seriously need some new clothes. This is a school top that I normally wear to work. Um, but because it's a little bit colder and I haven't, like I donated a lot of clothes last year when we were moving because I didn't want to move them and I didn't like them or they didn't fit me or they were really old but I really need to get like some like clothes that are purely just for outside of work rather than having clothes for both because I don't know I think I prefer it that way I also would like to try and do like a capsule wardrobe type thing where you get where you have clothes that are just like everyday staples my eyes are really they're very baggy today I don't know why I had a pretty good sleep yeah so these are like clothes that are really good staples a lot of them are pretty like neutral colors and you can wear them like they're the clothes are meant to be interchangeable so I'm thinking about maybe looking in and doing some research on what kinds of clothes that I could buy that could be good staples what else are we doing today we are also going to a bulk food store so I always get like my herbs and everything from a store that has like minimal packaging mostly because it's cheaper and you know it's less plastic and stuff on the planet or like that's going back into the planet i also have some cushions that i'm picking up today that i bought online from adairs when they were having a bit of a sale because the cushions that we have at the moment on our couch are pretty not like useless but they're not they're not very good so hopefully those will be i've got a pimple there they're hopefully those cushions will be really nice and comfy they're bigger too the cushions that we have at the moment on our couch are like really quite small and they're not like cozy type cushions so i need to get some like i was looking to get some of those i'm not gonna wear a lot of makeup today um tomorrow i'm gonna it's gonna be a makeup day because we're going out to like a friend's birthday and I'm also going to film like an in-depth budget type video that's most likely gone up before before this video. I'm hoping to get it up on Sunday. So if you are interested in that kind of video, I'll try and link it up the top somewhere. Too much. I might just put like a little bit of concealer under the eyes. Not that it actually does much. And maybe just on this pimple... I don't know how I managed to get a pimple on my neck. The foundation that I used the other day, which is like my regular foundation, maybe it's really old and that's why I've started to break out. It's this one here. It's by Rimmel. So you guys know that I was on the hunt for a new foundation. This one's pretty good. It's really affordable. Um, but I find that I usually break out a little bit. Like after a couple of days, I break out from this foundation so it, it wears really well and it looks so nice in photos and stuff but I always tend to break out a little bit after using it okay here we have the outfit of the day converse jeans knit top bag nothing special Lewis is looking pretty good in his outfit too I don't even know where you are there you are looking pretty snazzy in his shopping outfit is it outfit check it is, a, it is outfit check time that's actually the jumper that I was wearing this morning. We're Converse. Converse. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> We're ready. Okay. I bought something for Lewis, well, and I. We're really taking care of our skincare at the moment. And when I do Lewis's skincare, we do it just for like a little bit of fun. It keeps getting in like our hair. So I bought something off Amazon that I'm really hoping it's not awful. You'll either love it or you'll hate it or you'll be like, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to show you. But close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need. Okay. Keep them closed. <laughs> it's a headband. <laughs> okay, here you go. Oh my God. You would be so like this. <laughs> okay, so that's one of them. Oh my God. And then this what is. What is this for? It's a headband. It's to keep the hair off the face. <laughs> and then. 
There's this one as well. Oh my god, I called it. I knew you'd get some like this. <laughs> Shotgun the frog. Oh, I wanted the frog. I want the frogs. Okay, I'll have the cat. So, you go like this. Oh, it's a bit tight. No, is it the other way? No, hold on, wait. There you go. Oh. Put it behind your ear. I thought you had wore it like this. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, you wore it like that? Yeah. So that's the cat. And then this is the frogs. I love them. I think they're so cute. Oh, the frogs is maybe a bit better for you. It's a bit looser. You've got a bigger head than I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are they so cute? <laughs> <laughs> do you I love the frogs? I do like them. Okay, so that's what I got Lewis and I. And then they come with little like hair tie things too. So this one's got so the cat one comes with two cats. Two little cats, and then the frog comes with like a little froggy. So obviously I'll be using this one. See, it's got a little froggy on it. Oh, he's cute. So that's from Amazon. I then went to Maya and got us some new towels. So I got a face washer. Everything's the same color. I got a face face washer, hand towel, and then bath sheet. We have bath towels, but bath sheets are they're just a little bit better because they're a lot bigger and you can like, I don't know, get a little bit more cozy after like out of the shower. So I got two of these. This is the color here. It's like a oceany teal. It looks a lot more green, like bright green than what it actually is. It's quite dark. So I got two of those face washer hand towel. And then the last thing that I got is from Adairs. They were having a sale. And we need some new cushions for our couch because the ones that we have at the moment are a bit like rank and gross. So I had to get them delivered. Oh, wait, is there only one? What? There's only one. I wish. Oh, maybe they're coming separately. Maybe. Okay, so this is one of them. Oh, it's not very. Maybe it needs to be fluffed up. It might be vacuumed. Oh, yeah, it probably is. This? Yeah. It's like a brown color. I thought there was gonna be two cushions. It's nice cushion, nice color. Is it feathers? I don't know, is it? It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it is. It's got hair on it. It's already puffed up a bit. Yeah, so it's like this brown kind of color. I don't know about it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Hopefully the other one will come. Of course, whenever there is a box like in the house, cats love to get in them. Uh, Lewis is just waiting to do like a little fashion show for me of the things that he bought. But the last place that we went to was a bulk food store. So we go to one called the Full Pantry and you can buy like all the herbs and rice and everything without like a lot of the packaging. Usually, well, not usually. I really should have brought all the containers with me because then like you're not creating all this kind of waste. But it's really affordable. So I bought like oregano, basil, thyme, like all of those herbs that you use pretty much in everyday cooking. And it costs like 50 cents per herb rather than going to Woolies and buying those like glass tubes that you use once and then you never refill them. This is a really great way of saving money and like not creating a lot more waste for the environment. So yeah, just a little tip. That's someone that we really like to go to. There's heaps around. I know there's one called the Source Bulk Store. That one's really good too. It is a little bit more expensive though. Friday afternoon. I have the best boyfriend in the world, making me a gin and sour while doing skincare and watching Sex and City. I'll show you. He hasn't made one of these for me in years. It's just like gin, lemon juice, sugar syrup, um, a bit of bitters on top. First taste test. Cheers. Oh, it's really good. Mm. Now we're just going to do a little bit of skincare while we have some cocktails. I put in another big Korean skincare order that hopefully will be arriving next week. But yeah, this is going to be us for the rest of the night. Having some cocktails, probably having a glass of Pinot. Doing our skincare. I've got my little cat friend with me too. What was that?
Do you know what I don't understand? So I, happy Saturday by the way, I was just like scrolling through like YouTube on the TV. So I usually stay in bed for an hour or so, watch YouTube in bed and then I come downstairs and watch it on the couch. But like when I was scrolling, I don't know if it's like a common thing that people do now, but they do like these getting up at 5am, 6am challenges. And these are people that are like full-time influencers. And I feel like it's sort of taking the mickey out of people that actually have a full-time job that don't actually have a choice on when they get up. Like they have to get up at that particular time. And then you see like these influencers that are like, oh, 5 a.m. challenge, getting up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. every day for a week. Like why? I don't, understand. I don't understand what the point of that is. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if anyone knows what I'm trying to say, but like I don't see how that is a challenge when that is a lot of people's reality like every single day every single week so I feel like it's sort of I just feel like that's very out of touch considering like a lot of people have to get up at that time or even earlier to go to their full-time job whereas a lot of these influencers they can get up whenever they want like don't get me wrong that's like my dream is to be like a full-time influencer or a full-time content creator so then I can choose when I get up so then I don't have to like be forced to get up at seven or six or whatever time it is. So like, you know, they have that kind of luxury to do whatever they want, but I don't know if that is, I don't know, do people actually want to see that kind of content? I feel like it's not really appropriate, but um, I'm just about to go take out some bacon from the freezer and cook breakfast, probably have breakfast in like an hour or so. And then today I'm going to one of my friend's houses for a little birthday party. Um, Lewis is going to drive. I'm not going to drink too much because we did have a couple cocktails and a couple of wines last night. So we always do this. Like whenever we know we have some sort of social event the next day, we seem to drink more the night before. So then when it comes to the social event, we never drink as much, but that's a good thing though. Be safe, better to be safe at home than, you know, drink a bit when you're out and not in the safety of your own home. Yeah, we the eggs might be slightly overdone. The eggs are a bit overdone. Mm. Oh, well. We are just about to leave, but I thought that I'd show you my outfit. You've probably seen it all a million times before, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm wearing this knitted top with these like little daisies. And then I'm just wearing some denim jeans. Again, you've probably seen these a million times. And what I'm actually gonna pair them with are these shoes that I don't think I've shown you before. They're from Princess Highway. I love Princess Highway. All their stuff is super quirky. Really can show your personality off in that store. So I'm just gonna pair them with these. They are a little uncomfortable, like if you're walking really long distances. I've got blisters a couple of times just from the backs. But if you're not walking far, they're really comfy. And then for the birthday people, I we just got them a bottle of Tasmanian Pinot and I just added a little bow onto it. And then just to finish off the outfit, um, just my little bag. So it all kind of ties in nicely. Okay, I'm very excited slash happy. I have the house to myself today. Actually, probably only for the last like hour and a bit. Lewis has gone golfing with some friends today. I have like semi cleaned the house. Actually, it was pretty clean from yesterday. But for dinner tonight, I am making some wonton noodle soup. So I've just got my wonton mixture here. I have to say that living a lot more centrally to things than what we did previously is so, so nice. So I walked up to the shops before. It's literally like a five minute walk to get like milk. I had to get like pork mince or a couple of other little things. And then when I got home and I started to make like this mixture, I realized I forgot spring onions and I was like, oh, damn it. Like that's so, so annoying. 
So I messaged Lewis to be like, oh, can you get me some spring onions to like on your way home? And then I was like, no, like you're with your friends. Like I want you to, I don't want to be annoying, like that annoying girlfriend that's like, go, and get, go to the shops and buy me these things. So I was like, no, don't worry about it. You hang out with your friends. I'll go back up. And I left at like 3.08 and then I got back at 3.15. Like it's so, so much better. I really did enjoy living where we did live, which was like kind of up in the mountains, but being so central and close to everything is just so much better. Um, I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog here. I might put in a little bit of a clip of me making the wontons and the wonton noodle soup. It's really great. Like the today is a bit rainy, but it's like really humid and gross. Like it's not even that hot. It's like 20 degrees, but because it's raining, it's like really quite sticky. But yeah, that's today. Um, thank you so much for watching the vlog. I really do appreciate you. Please make sure that you leave a comment. I read them all. I try to reply as much as I can. But I really hope that you are enjoying these videos. I'm loving making vlogs. I just find that they're so much more relaxed and chilled and I can be a bit more of my, excuse me. I, I feel like I can be a little bit more of myself in these kinds of videos. Whereas in like sit down videos, I feel like there's, like they have to be a bit more curated. Whereas like vlogs can be on the fly. You kind of record whatever you want in that particular moment. So I'm really enjoying filming these. I'm really hoping that you're enjoying them. Can you let me know if you are enjoying long vlogs or shorter vlogs? Cause I don't know how much content to put out there. Like I could record literally hours of footage, but then like, I don't know if that's really boring for people to sit and watch, or if you want like 20 minute vlogs, 40 minute, like where's the sweet spot of time. But yeah, I really do love and appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a fantastic week and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in next week's weekly vlog. Catch ya.